Hi, I'm Adim from Steelsoft, and today I will show you the way to evaluate calendar events in Confluence with the Table Filter and Charts app. I have created a script macro which pulls calendar data from Confluence and generates a table on its basis. By taking a quick look at this table, we can notice that it includes the user who created it, event type, short description, date period, and duration in days. I'm going to use a set of macros bundled within the Table Filter and Charts app. They will help me to analyze the breakdown of events by type and track the dynamics of leaves by months. So, let's get started. I'm editing the page and insert here the table filter, then pivot table, and finally chart from table macros. Further, I'm placing them one inside the other and finally put my script macro within this combination. Once this is done, I can save the page and proceed to data evaluation. Here, in the page view mode, I want to limit the data and get it only for the current year. For doing this, I'm adding the date filter and specify the correct date format for it. Now I can apply the filtration criteria. First of all, I select the first date of this year as a start date and enter the dynamic value today for the end date. This will update the data series matching my criteria every day, so all the time I will work with actual data. Once my data is filtered, I can proceed to its aggregation with the pivot table macro. I plan to build a two-dimensional pivot table that will show distribution of event types by Confluence users. So I can see how many days were marked for leaves, business trips, or how many days people were working at home. I'm defining the structure of my pivot table. Here I select the user column as the row labels and the type column as column labels. I want to use the days column for calculation and the sum as an operation. I get the needed pivot table at once. When this is done, let's visualize it, so we can better see the threshold values. All I need to do is to select the data series I want to visualize and the chart type for doing this. I select the columns with values and set the column as a chart type. And here it is. For better look on the page, I'm adjusting its dimensions. I'm done with this. Now let's find out the monthly dynamics of leaves and stays at home for working there. I keep my filtration criteria as is, but I need to rebuild my pivot table. So here I select end date as a row label, keep the type column, set the calculated column as end date, and select count as an operation type. Now I need to switch the date aggregation type to see the monthly statistics. I edit the page and modify parameters of the pivot table macro and select months as an aggregation period. After this, I save the macro. Besides parameters of the pivot table, I need to update configuration of the chart from table macro. Here I select the timeline as a chart type, then enable display of the trend line and enable interpolation to make lines look curved and smooth along the chart. I also select a new orientation for the chart legend, so now it will align under the chart. After these manipulations, I save the macro and the page. As you may notice, the look of my pivot table has changed and now it shows the monthly data. I set the date format as year and months and proceed to build in my chart. I set the end date as a column with dates and select the columns with numbers as values for chart building. And here is the chart I was looking for. Now I can quickly trace the dynamics of leaves and stays at home, so if needed I can address these issues if any negative progress is observed. I hope that this quick tutorial will help you to advance your team management in Confluence and get insight into teammate availability with the Table Filter and Chats app. Put likes and share this video with your colleagues. Thanks for watching us.